All right, I'm going to show you real quickly the quintessential Puget Sound squid fishing rig. Now, the Puget Sound squid fishing rig consists of a weighted squid jig and one unweighted squid jig. A weighted squid jig is one that has uh, more weight. So let's compare these two real quick. This is the weighted one, 43 grams. Unweighted one, about five grams. The weighted squid jig's purpose is to get your rig to sink down uh, to the bottom of the water. Whereas the top jig or the unweighted jig is just an additional uh, lure that sits on top. It is not meant to help weight down the setup. Now you don't need the top jig, you can just go with a uh, the weighted bottom jig if you don't want to have a more complicated or costly setup that you could lose. Between the two jigs, as you see, squid jigs all have a uh, eyelet at the bottom to uh, run them in tandem. So you just tie the top of the, the weighted jig to the bottom of the uh, top jig. Now, the line you use between the two jigs is between one and two feet. And I generally use a clear line like a fluorocarbon, uh, anywhere from 10 pounds to 20 pounds. It's not a huge, uh, big detail that you need to worry about. Then your top jig, or if you're not using the top jig, the top of your bottom jig will just connect directly to your main line. So what I usually do is I tie a snap sewer to my main line, and then I just attach the snap swivel directly to the eye of the top jig, like that. And you just snap it shut. And then, of course, the other side of your swivel is connected to your fishing rod and reel. Now, what else you need? Uh, you need a light. So you can use an LED work light like this one, or you can have a headlamp. Now these lights can help you shine into the water to attract a squid, or they, if you're using someone else's light that happens to have a very powerful one that they've hooked up to the pier, these can also be useful just so you can use them to help yourself tie knots or just charge your glow-in-the-dark jigs if you have a glow-in-the-dark one. Now where can you get uh, some of the squid jigs? You can actually buy them from people that make them on the pier a lot, or you can just go to uh, any of your outdoor uh, sporting goods stores, I recommend going to a local one that will have a squid jig specifically uh, for the Puget Sound rather than like a national chain store like Walmart that might have ones that are not appropriate for the Puget Sound region. Another thing you can use is a bucket. So right here, I just have a small bucket. Let me zoom out on that. So just a small bucket, and on your bucket, you want to add a liner just to protect the bucket, especially if it's not black, from uh, the squid ink. And that's basically all you need. For your fishing rod, I recommend a medium uh, duty rod that's between seven and 10 feet long and on a spinning reel. Uh, mostly because you'll be casting in the dark, so using a bait caster uh, might be more difficult. But you could use a bait caster if you wanted to. It's not a big difference in this case. So there you go. There's the quintessential Puget Sound squid fishing rig. Now let's get out there and find some squid. I'm going to a super secret squidding spot, guys. Super secret. No idea where this is. No landmarks, river names, ocean names. So. I just want to see if anyone's caught anything yet. I mean, it's early.
good a spot as any. You can, they're getting pulled up. Yeah, there's a lot. They're coming here. Yeah, they might. <laughs> Just roof around. <laughs> we got the best jigs. They should come over here. What do you mean? You know, the most colorful. What? <laughs> oh, they're they're yanking around. Oh my! Oh wow! They're killing it! Look at that. Way too fast. That's, I mean, it looks pretty busy over. Yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Yeah, we got one. I just want one. <laughs> I want to see it. Where's the bucket? Oh. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna it. You just turn it upside down. Oh, they have it on one. Yeah, see, that's why you don't move. <laughs> Three. Put it down. <laughs> That's nothing, yeah. That's yeah, pretty fast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you catch a two? Yeah, double up. You won. A double up. You got two and you won. Oh. Another one. Oh, did I go over you? Yeah. Yeah, they're high in the water. But the tide's really gone, huh? Is there a technique? Uh, I don't know. Call him. <laughs> <laughs> come, you come out bad easy. Oh. Do you go fishing? Yeah. Yeah. Look at you. You want to go? Come on. Get off. Get off. Shoulders are getting tired. <laughs> oh, so a big one. Or, or, or I'm snagging on something. No, something, something's big. Double. Double? Something. Yeah, double up. <laughs> Get off. Oh, look at that double. <laughs> One. Oh! Oh my god. I almost got it in the I, go I got it all over. <laughs> good, are you? Yeah. Oh yeah, that thing like, like shot like two, two meters. Yeah, I know, I got the splash. So we ended the night with about, uh, I want to say four pounds of squid. Uh, we've only been here about two and a half hours, so pretty good. Uh, check that out. Gonna have a lot of calamari to eat tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>